A revised law passed in February requires companies here in Korea with 300 or more employees must reduce maximum working hours to 52 per week from the current 68. But some have raised concerns over the sudden change the speed of the matter. To ensure a smooth transition and a soft landing, the government has devised some special measures. Won jong -won explains how they would work. The government will implement certain measures to cushion firms from the impact of the new shorter working hours, which come into effect next month. Minister of Strategy and Finance Kim dong yeon said on Tuesday that the government will focus on managing a soft landing for the revised 52-hour maximum working week, so that it reflects the needs of certain sectors. Kim said the maximum working hours will be implemented in stages to try to cushion businesses from any negative impact especially in the manufacturing and construction sectors and certain parts of the retail sector. He also said that the government will allow special overtime working hours for ICT companies that manage key infrastructure such as server control and hacking prevention. Employees at these firms will be able to work an additional 12 hours a week. The short-term maximum working hours, one of President Moon Jae-in's main election pledges, is aimed at improving the work-life balance and reducing what are often called inhumanely long working hours. But some market watchers say, while the reduced working hours will benefit many people, others could suffer detrimental effects. Some labor groups are against the new system as it cuts the salaries of employees at smaller companies. And employers are opposed, as shortened work hours tend to increase labor costs. The government needs to closely cooperate with workers and employers to mitigate any adverse effects of the policy. Wonder One, Arirang News.